it is Sunday, June 4th, 8 o'clock in the morning, I think. We're headed to the airport. I hinted last week that there was something going on. We're headed to California, my home state. We, Bob has to work. We're going to do some visiting. Not worried about telling you all this because by the time you see this, we'll be back. But anyway, we're waiting for our driver. Uber, Lyft, one of those. A driver. We, a driver. We've never called our own driver. It's always been somebody calling for us, so this is a first, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We're competent adults most of the time. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. We landed safely in California, checked into the hotel and all that jazz. We are headed down actually to our old house and old neighborhood and going to go look up, take a quick look around and then we're going to go meet some friends for dinner. Actually see their new house first and then meet them for dinner. So anyway, I'll show you what I can. I'll be back. It'll be a party. It'll be a party. I don't live at the old house anymore so I can show you whatever I want about it because it's not my house. But yeah, it's a house. It's a house. Don't be a creep, though. All right, I'll be back. Sure of it, you guys. But if we see another one, I'll try. We just saw a, gri a bridge, a bridge, a bridge. Yeah, a bridge covered in so much graffiti that the only way you knew it was a bridge is it was floating over the highway. Very colorful. Very colorful. We all thought we also should have been filming for idiots and cars. Um. Let's just say we found somebody on the freeway in front of us who couldn't make it up their lane, their mind what lane to be in and which exit, to take. which exit to take. I don't think they were drinking and driving. I just think they were driving stupidly and lost. But I guess you never know. I'll be back. Yeah, that's new. Updated. Okay. Here we go. See if the house looks like when we left it because last time I looked at a Google image of the house, they hadn't changed a dang thing. Now, does Google just have the same old picture? They did do it, they put a new roof on there with solar panels. And yeah, they did that. yeah, that and that was in the Google picture, but the planter pots and stuff and the color of the house was all still the same. And we left for them. Yeah, we should have taken with us, but that's okay. Yeah, we should have. We did buy new ones that are almost exactly the same. Why is it green? Oh my god, looks like they painted the uh, tiles green. I, that's ugly. Why would you paint it green? Okay. Those are overgrown. Yep. Well, some of these houses were overgrown when we lived here, so that hasn't changed at all. Nope. Maybe it looks the same, dear. Yeah. Looks like it's a little overgrown, the trees are a little bit bigger, bushes are, bushes are bigger, grass is taller. I'm gonna go down um, Santa Teresa. Okay, free cabinet, you need a cabinet? Uh, I can use a cabinet, but I can't, I don't get it on the airplane now. No, I don't think it fits in a suitcase. Yeah, I don't want to check it in either. No. Too big. Something has never changed. This is the Coyote Valley, South San Jose. Somewhere down here is a really great walking park that we used to like to go to. Mm -hmm. And it, yes, it's always brown. It's never green. It's California. You see me? Or him? It's kind of dark. It's kind of dark here. We're headed back to the hotel from a really great dinner with our friends, Shelly and John. It was so good to see them. And their house that they bought like during COVID, which we hadn't seen yet. Oh my God, you guys, it's beautiful. Anyway, uh, the old neighborhood has changed a bit, but I mean, what that's to be expected, I think. Anyway, tomorrow is a work day for Mr. Bob, yep. a hangout, maybe go shopping day for me. And then we're going to head out to visit more friends when he gets off work. So I'll take you with me where I can. I'm on the hunt for a few specific things. So we'll see if we have a little bit better luck finding them here for a decent price than in Oregon. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. I also got a shopping list request from the daughter for Daiso. So 
that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, hair's a little bit on the frizzy side today, but you know, we are in San Jose. I am on Almaden Expressway at the Joanne Fabrics here in San Jose. I forgot there's a Savers right next door. Now we have limited time this morning because I'm supposed to meet Bob back in Fremont for lunch. Um, and I kind of want to go to Daiso today, but we'll see how it plans out. I need to head back towards Fremont like no later than 11 o'clock. So I've got a couple of hours down here. Uh, Joann's, we have Joann's in Oregon. I mean, we do, but there's a kind of fabric that I've been looking at online. They don't have in my store and they never have in my store a linen, 100% linen. So they do supposedly have some of it here. I do have a coupon. So while I love thrifting and buying used things and upcycling them into new things, um, linen's hard to find. And um, if they have this linen here and I like the quality, I think I'm just going to get it here and use the coupon. I'll have to pay sales tax, which we don't have in Oregon, but you know, anyway. <sighs> All right. So we're going to see about doing that. And then if I want to go to Savers, they don't open for like an hour. That's a long time. So... I'm more than likely going to drive over to Daiso and do thrifting on a different day, but we'll see. I'll be back. We have so much more fabric than we do in Oregon. Oh my God. Okay, I got some white linen. I can dye it whatever color I want, so white's a good choice. Nobody ever has like lots of fun colors in stock. My hair, yeah, it's been windy. Anyway, um, but I found some white and um, I got what I could afford. Um, I did have a bunch of coupons, so that helped. And I found some scrapbook stuff for grandson's scrapbook that I haven't seen at my local Joann's. They had some of the same stuff, but then they had some different things. So now we're going to head over to Daiso and then head back to the hotel. We'll do thrifting a different day. If I do thrifting at all while I'm here, I don't know, but we'll, we'll find out. We're going to play it by ear. I don't do that well, but we're going to play it. All right. I'll be back. Okay, we have a few minutes before Daiso opens, so I'm going to go to the Asian market that's also in the same shopping center, grab a couple of food things that I want, actually see if they have a restroom, and um, then we'll go shopping in Daiso. Now, I'm going to shoot what I can, but I don't have a camera person. It's just me, So, and I need to pick up sp some specific things. So I'll show what I can, maybe a quick, quick overview, and then we'll do a haul later. I'll be okay. back. Geez, it's windy. <laughs> um, Daiso opens in like five minutes. I was able to find some iced coffee and cookies. Junk food. Things I shouldn't be eating, but things I do eat when I'm traveling. So I got some snacks and some iced coffee. Actually, Hawaiian iced coffee, which I really love um, for back at the hotel room. And now we'll just wait and see. When Daiso opens, there's a few things both the girls have asked me to look for, so I will. I don't really need anything. Does that mean I won't buy anything? Oh, no, that's not what that means. <laughs> and then we will head back to the hotel room and...
you guys. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I don't like to like do hauls because I don't want to brag about what I have and make you feel like you have to go buy stuff. But I love a good bargain. I love thrifting. And I go to places like Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store and Dollar Tree, looking for tools, out-of-the-box tools I can use for ab my abstract painting. Sometimes I find something for my sewing projects, but mostly that. So let me show you what I got, and um, I picked up a few things for the kids that were requested, but let me show you what I got for me. Yeah, let's do that. So from Daiso, I got some stickers. Daiso is a really great place to get journaling stickers, scrapbooking stickers. I put them in my daily journals, and also I'm working on a scrapbook for Junior, our grandson, and they have all different kinds, and I really enjoy buying them there. The price is good, and the styles are different than what you see at, like, Joann's and everything. Um, I know what you're thinking. This is like a cleaning brush. That's not what I'm going to use it for. Abstract painting marks. This one, too. And I have a pegboard on my sewing room wall, my, my, sorry, my, my sewing desk wall, and I have a bin on the wall that holds some symbols and things, and I keep knocking into it because it sticks out too far, and when I was at Daiso, I found these. I only got two of them, but I'm thinking they might work really well, and I can either use a clip or drill another hole in the other side and use a hook, but I think these might work really well storage solution I didn't know I needed. I also got one of these. I know it's a switch case, but I saw it and I thought, I wonder if it would make a good travel art case. I don't really need another travel art case, God forbid, but you know, it might be interesting. So we will maybe try that and do a travel art case video if you all want. I also got some linen at Joann's. I found See, linen. I found um, some scrapbooking stuff I hadn't seen at my Joann's, some papers, and a few stickers, and, yeah, see, a few stickers. And anything else? Oh, when I was at Walmart getting supplies that we forgot, I found these, this Waverly print cotton. It was really cheap. This is a one-yard bundle. I got two of them. They'd make a cute blouse or a dress or a skirt or something. Yeah. All right. That's it for the minute. I have to put everything away. I'll be back. We're going to do this a little quick because honestly, clouds are rolling in and it's a little cold and I'm in a tank top. I feel like I'm back in Portland, but I'm not. I'm in San Jose at the San Jose Masonic Center. Uh, for those that don't know, there we go. My husband is a Freemason, and he there's a meeting tonight, and there was a stated dinner. And so we went to dinner, and he's going to go to his meeting. I'm going to read a book while he's doing that, and probably walk around and take some pictures, because it's what I do. And um, yeah, beautiful sunsets happening, and it's all good. It was good to see a bunch of the guys, and I was the only wife at the dinner, which is different. <laughs> But that's all right. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. It's about nine. Uh, sorry, eight fifty-two a.m. Tuesday, June sixth. Uh, iPads next to me. Um, <clears throat> I already took Bob to work this morning to the office. He didn't want to walk. It's a little chilly outside. Um, and had breakfast and all of that stuff. I am going to be going. To visit a couple of thrift shops here in town that we don't have at, in Oregon. So I don't know if I'm going to find anything. I'm not looking for um, a whole bunch of stuff. There are a few things I haven't been able to find in Oregon. So if I do find them, that would be great. Um, but we'll see. I also need to pick myself up a few groceries because I'm pretty much um, just having a chill day at the hotel here tomorrow. I'm not going to have the car. Bob's doing work stuff all day. So I'm going to try to pick myself up some groceries while I can. It's a bad thing. Um, 
right now though it's just not even nine o'clock yet nothing opens until 10 so you know i'm just gonna relax for the minute we're gonna go visit um with people after work today um and go have dinner with my son-in-law's parents actually they live in los gatos so we're gonna go have dinner at their house and uh yeah it's all good i don't like driving in california traffic but i knew that already because you know hello california native right here anyway i'll be back i made a basic rookie mistake i'm from california i actually know better it's raining i'm also from portland so, and I didn't bring any coats or sweaters or, yeah. So one of the stops this morning will be to rectify that. But in the meantime, I'm at Hope Thrift here in Fremont uh, and Black Cow Road, Blah, Black Cow Road. Anyway, um, I'll let you know how it is. I'm going to put you in my pocket and yeah, not film anything, but I'll let you know what I think. I'll be back. Ay, ay, ay. I did all that and it wasn't on. Ugh. Anyway, Hope Thrift. I will include a uh, link down in the video description for their website. They don't have a lot of locations, um, but if you're near one, go check it out. I really liked this one in Fremont, uh, California, and I found some brand new white, wide leg, white linen pants, never worn with the tags on them that are perfect to remake. They're like a lot too big for me. I might make a pair of pants out of them. I might make something else. I don't know yet, but they are really cute. And um, a couple of t-shirts to do a experiment with that I want to try that were real cheap, three bucks each that were in good condition. And uh, a couple of uncut sewing patterns, one t-shirt I'm going to wear just as is, but also an um, like khaki green, avocado green sweater with some pretty lace on the top that's very thin and drapey and way too big for me, but would be really cute worn over at tank top and bike shorts. So, and all of it was like 20 bucks. That's cheap for California, especially that's cheap. All right, on to the next, I'll be back. So Goodwill was cool. I found three things I really liked. It was more of a boutique Goodwill though. Um, where they have mostly designer stuff. Things aren't individually tagged, um, like everything on this rack is 10 bucks kind of thing, um, which is fine. You can still find bargains there, which I did. I found two blouse, well, a blouse and a sweater. I'll wear as is, their name brand blouses. And um, also some yarn. It's a good thing I brought an extra suitcase. And that Bob has room in his, because yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go to Daiso, and there's a couple things I couldn't find at the other Daiso. I'm going to look and see if they have. Plus, there's a Safeway here. I need to pick up some food. There's also a Starbucks. I might need coffee. I'll be hey back. Guys. Here I am. These linen pants, they're huge. They're a size. There are Lane Bryant pants, and they're a 2, uh, sorry, a 28 they were originally, the tag is still on here, $54.95. I paid $8.99, minus my dis senior discount stuff. I mean, look at all that. Now, they're linen blend. They're linen rayon, which is fine, about half and half. I mean, just looking at them, I already have ideas on how to, like, remake them into something else. That's a nice big piece of linen. And at least part of it will make a great pair of pants. Um, at the same shop, I found two t-shirts that I think I want to split in half from neck to hem and then sew the two mismatched halves back together. So this is one. And this is the other one. We'll see, because I kind of like both of them as is. So we'll see if I actually do that. I found this top, which will be really cute as is with my khaki linen pants I just got. And that's, um, that's Lucky Brand. So I know that was a lot more expensive than the $3 I paid for it. This is the sweater, you guys. Look at this. It is big on going to be big on me because it's a 2X. But I mean, 
It is so cute. And then two uncut patterns. Cut, oh, still factory folded. Uh, this is a great basic top uh, jacket and pair of pants. And this one's a cute wrap dress. And then at Goodwill, the yarn, I couldn't resist. I mean, you guys, this whole, all three of them were, there was three bucks, which is that yarn, it's Lion Brand yarn. That's more expensive for one. It might be $3 for one or $4 for one. Probably more than that. I'm probably underestimating that. Um, then I found this shirt, which is Lauren Conrad. This was, I think, $6.99. I just saw that. There it is. Let's see. Yep, $6.99. And this little sweater was $9.99. And this is um, Ann Taylor Loft. How cute is that? It's a little cardigan. I did get a white sweater because, of course, I forgot one, and it's cold here. And But this is linen. It's a 100% linen sweater. It's more than I usually pay for stuff at the moment, but I think that was a pretty good buy. It's less than it would have been normally. And then, of course, I got a bunch of stuff at Daiso. I wasn't, I wasn't sure I was going to find anything. But I found some set myself some more stickers I didn't see at the other one. I found a bunch of cat stuff I was looking for for one of the girls. And some crazy snacks for the one son-in-law who never wants anything. So, you know. And then I also bought myself some food for lunch today and then tomorrow. Anyway, it was a pretty good shopping day. I'll be back. We're just getting back to the hotel. We had a really nice dinner with our son-in-law's parents in Las Gavis at their beautiful house up in the hills. And a really nice drive through the mountains and past Lexington Reservoir. If you're seeing this clip, you saw that clip. So anyway, it is very full of water. Anyway, now we're exhausted and we need to get to bed because he's got to get to work tomorrow and all that stuff. Oh, dark 30. Oh, dark 30, yeah. What do I got to do tomorrow? Take him to work. Maybe go shopping again? I mean, you know, I'll be back. Hundred feet. Turn right onto Fremont Boulevard. Anyway, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to have the car this morning, um, but I do. And I'm going to be meeting Bob and a friend of ours for lunch. And then he's going to take the car. Um, since I have the car and I've got a couple hours before then... We are going to go to St. Vincent de Paul. I wasn't going to go, but there is one here in the area. I don't have to go far. I mean, I already have a pretty full, extra, thank goodness I did bring an extra folding bag. I always do bring one. But yeah. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back at the hotel room um, having some thing to drink and using the restroom before I go be Bob and our friend for lunch. Um, the St. Vincent de Paul up here in Fremont, California, gigantic. Oh my God. <clears throat> Depending on what you're looking for, um, I th still think Hope Thrift was my favorite. They had a lot of clothing and a really good selection. It was very well organized. But St. Vincent de Paul is a good second runner up. They had a huge craft department, a lot of sewing patterns, 50 cents each. 50 cents. If you've priced them at the fabric store recently, you know what a bargain that is. Anyway, I started off with, um, for 50 cents, getting a children's book for our grandson for his library. Yes, he's only eight weeks. We're already adding to the library. That's not the first book I've gotten. Um, and then I got five sewing patterns that were also each 50 cents. 
all factory uncut and things I can make work or basics so that I don't have to draft patterns, which I know how to do, but is a pain in the neck. Um, and then I've been looking for a white men's shirt for a long time to upcycle. I found uh, first a green one, which I just left as is and is in my closet. And then I found a pink one and I did upcycle that one. I'll put it here. Um, I've been looking for a white one to do something with and I haven't been able to find one and I've had terrible luck. I found one today and it was $8.99, which is a little more than I would usually like to spend, but... It's in pretty good condition. And it looks like it's a designer brand name, but I've never heard of it before. Charles. Charles somebody. Charles. Maybe somebody knows. Anyway, I think it had one little like coffee spot on the front. Was it this one that had the coffee spot or was it the other one? I don't remember. But, uh, but, I mean, it is a used shirt. No, maybe it was the other one. This one looks fine. Anyway, plain white men's shirt. It, it's a big size, so that'll work perfect for what I want. So anyway, I'm done shopping this trip now. I'm, I'm going to have to figure out how to get all this in my suitcase on Friday. So it's going to be a thing. Anyway, I'm going to sit and watch some YouTube videos while I wait to hear where we're going for lunch because I don't have any idea. I'll let you know. I'll be Bob back. dropped me off from lunch. That was really good. We went to a Hawaiian place. I'm super full and I'm less worried about having extra food I have to toss out that's perfectly good because I'm seeing my cousin tomorrow and Bob's co-workers keep giving him food, some of which we can't take home. That's okay. She lives here. I'm going to bring it to her house tomorrow. I think that's brilliant. Meanwhile, before I go upstairs, I'm going to take a couple pictures and we're going to go, I'm going to go upstairs sit and do a little painting and share some of the photos with the patrons and supporters watch some youtube and just chill and relax i think that sounds like a plan i'll be back hey guys it is 7 30 a.m <laughs> on thursday what is it the 8th i think yep yeah, june 8th um i got bob off to work we had breakfast together which is what we've been doing every day that we've been here got my outfit of the day on which is a hold on can we yeah there we go thrifted white dress just below the knee I've got my flat tennis shoes on I'm gonna sit and have the rest of my coffee this morning uh diddle around on my tablet and then I'm gonna go meet be meeting family um for my dad's side of the family we're gonna be having a lunch thing and I get to see my cousin's new house. I can't wait. And um, then later on tonight, after Bob gets off work, we're having dinner with a friend. So, yeah. Almost done with this week and time to go home, but that's okay. Oh, and by the way, I finally found a white men's shirt to upcycle uh, when I was out thrifting yesterday. And guess what? It fits Mr. Bob perfectly. It was a brand new men's shirt. So, yeah, I don't get to upcycle that shirt. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? He said he probably has an old one in his closet I can have that he'll replace that one with. I don't know. We'll see. I'll get back. I'll be back. We're back in the car. I had a really great visit with my um, aunt and cousins and um, aunt cousin. She's like 11 years older than me. Anyway, she's kind of more like an older sister. Anyway, uh, Nancy, Annette. Uh, Tracy, Olivia, Teresa, you know I love you. It was a really great visit. And oh my gosh, Teresa and Clay's new house is just beautiful. Now I'm sitting in downtown San Jose because GPS says it's best to go this way to get on 880 to head back to the airport, which I need to do before 430. And I have like a seven minute window. <laughs> we'll see. Because I need to check in for my flight tomorrow. So... All right, I'll be back. I'm waiting in the parking lot of my husband's company, and um, he'll be out in a few minutes. And then we are going to go get some lunch, and we're headed home to Oregon. I managed to pack everything I bought 
in suitcases that we can make it work, which is a freaking miracle. And the two suitcases are under 50 pounds, another miracle. We do have one extra carry-on bag, but I had two coming and he only had one. So now he's gonna have two. <laughs> All right. California is a beautiful place to visit. There's some great things to see and do, places to go shopping, places to eat. But yeah, I don't wanna live here anymore. I miss some people, but that's it. Anyway, all right. I have a million ideas for paintings when we get back and of course sewing projects because that's gonna be a permanent thing now. Anyway, I need to finish my coffee. I had to go buy some Starbucks. I'm tired of hotel coffee. Yeah, I'll be back. We have time on our way to the airport. We had lunch with some of Bob's coworkers. That was really great. Really nice group of people. And um, yes, I was the only one there that wasn't in the tech business, but you know. Um, we are now, we have extra time. So we are driving, we're in Santa Clara. I used to rent a room here and we're gonna go by there uh, and see if I can recognize anything, but I can tell you right now, everything looks completely different. Well, there's a lot of construction over here. Yeah, there's a lot of, there yeah, used to be a lot of open space. Around. Yeah, hang on. a lot of open space over here, and some of this was not here, but now, like with this building, there's just, all that stuff. oh, so much building going on, so much new. And then I mean. On the left side here, there's, um, Levi Stadium, where the 49ers play. Yeah, is Great America Park Wait, you still here uh, down the it, street? It, great, it, great America is, is right past, is right next to it. Yeah. But, um, so I lived here for a few years when I met Mr. Bob. And, yeah, I took the bus to work every day because I did not have a car. <laughs> so that was a thing. Anyway, I don't recognize any of it so far. So... I'll keep you all posted. There's Levi Stadium. Yeah. Home of San Francisco Fires. There's their playing field right over here. That's where they practice. Oh, nice. They're off today. I hope so because there's nobody out there. So if they're supposed nobody to be practicing, then somebody messed up. Yeah, none of this was here, you guys. In fact, Levi Stadium was part of. Um, the Great America Parkway Amusement Park parking lot when I lived here. It wasn't, there was, yeah. Holy cow. There's, there's the conventions. Yeah, there's Great America and Mr. Bob. And there's the convention center. That was here when I was here. Yeah. But those hotels were not here. There were no hotels over here to stay at. <laughs> This is Great America Parkway. You used to be able to go into the parking lots of all of these buildings here. Some of these weren't here. They were a lot smaller. And you could park your car. People in the neighborhood would come over here and park their cars, have a tailgater in the parking lot while we waited for Great America to set off 4th of July fireworks yes. for 4th of July. Yep. They'd get there at about eight, 7 o'clock, party, and then around 9 o'clock, the fire was, would go off for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. It's not anymore. But not anymore. It's all different now. Yeah. Hey, you guys. This is the mobile home park I used to live, rent a room in. I didn't have the whole mobile home. It's a long story we won't get into right now. But anyway... I was about 17, 18 years old until I was about 22, 23, 23 when Mr. Bob and I moved in together. And it's down here at K Street. Yeah, and there's the parking lot. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it is. And, and ours was not that one. It was this, this one that's gray now. The one with the flag. This yeah, is it. This, this is, is the it. spot. That was it, 448. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's uh not sure how I feel about that. Well, I have mixed feelings about that, you guys. It's a long story. Maybe someday I'll get into it, but it's a long story. Maybe with your therapist. <laughs> yeah, maybe with a the therapist. It is kind of a therapy story. So anyway. Uh yeah. I'm you turn and go around. Go back. That mobile home that's there is not the one I lived in. That's no. a new one, by the way. Uh that was a lot nicer. Yeah. It, the one I lived in looked more like that one. Well it was a, but it was, it was not a, as well kept. It was 
was pretty bad. It was a, what did Mr. Bob call it earlier off camera? A shithole. <laughs> you really shouldn't say that, dear. Well, I, what am I, they're going to demonetize me, I swear, on my channel anyways. Oh, okay, well, okay, it was a shithole. I didn't use the F word. No. Because <laughs> I could have said effing shithole. Yep, we used to park our cars right here. Right in here. Okay. It was really fun the day that Mr. There. Bob went out of town and left his uh, little stick, stick shift Toyota Celica at my house to keep an eye on it. And it was in the driveway, and I had to move it across the street into the parking lot. And you guys see how far that is. It's like from there to there. It took me half an hour because I don't drive a stick shift. And it ended up, I think I burned out his clutch. Yep. So there's that. Lessons learned. Yeah. All right. Off to the airport. We'll see you back in Oregon. We're in a car again. Are you surprised? You're always in a car. I know. We are back in Oregon. Yay! <laughs> Traveling and visiting is nice, but I can't. It's always nice to get home. Uh, I did spend the morning doing a lot of laundry because one of the things I forgot to do before we left was laundry. So we had all the travel clothes plus what was already in there. So it's a lot. Watered the plants, do some chores. Mr. Bob was able to go to Cars for Coffee this morning in Sherwood. Cars and coffee. Sorry, Cars and Coffee in Sherwood. They had a Mopar day. It was a Mopar day. Okay. Yes, a lot of Mopars. So, yeah, that was good for him. And we both, more importantly, got a really good night's sleep. <laughs> now we're out to go run some errands. We have almost no groceries in the house and all of that stuff. So we need, we need to go get that done. So we're going to go do that and I'll be back. So I have my hat on because my hair looks horrible and I'm still in my pajamas because I forgot to close the vlog last night and it's Sunday morning. <laughs> you your alarm went off last night at 8 o'clock. Yeah, that. I was busy crocheting this new hat, which if, you're, if you are watching the vlog that to this far, you've seen the clips of me doing that anyway. Because it's, you know, middle of summer ish and I'm making winter clothes. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to start off this morning by cutting Mr. Bob's hair and doing a few chores, but that's for next week's vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed the kind of weirdness of this vlog, some travel footage and all that stuff. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it down below. We will get back to our regular arty life content this next vlog, but anyway... Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Any relevant links will be down in the video description. And I answer every single comment, so please leave one. And uh, if you want to have ready access to me and my art and what I'm doing on the regular and patterns and videos, become a patron or supporter. They not only have our own private Facebook chat, but they have their own private YouTube channel. So there's that. Yeah. All right. That's it for now. I'm going to cut Mr. Bob's hair. I'll see you all next week. Go out and have a good day. Have a good week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.